Okay, she makes some almond milk. <laughs> Kudos to her. Swig it around. Make sure you get all that stuff mixed in there good. This is where it's at. This is like, when you make good coffee, it's like a joy to wake up in the morning. Alright, so we finished that one out. I'm so tired. I made a better cup than you, that's all I have to say. Mine literally stayed at the 12 and didn't even move. It was perfect. Cam. Yes. You don't make better coffee. I promise you, you it was the best cup you, I've ever made. You, you, Brie loves so beauty bubble. barista. No, Cam. Let me show you. Okay. This is the big part of our life right here. <laughs> Just kidding. That's so true. <laughs> okay, this is real life. The kitchen's always clean when we wake up. The last night I was up till 3.30 in the morning, so I made lemon honey tea. Go. Oh, you're ruining oh. my shot. Just kidding. You're ruining my shot. Literally. Coffee time. Who makes a better cup of coffee? It looks like I'm having hot chocolate, right? It looks like little mini marshmallows. How did you do that? Because I make really good cups of coffee. Well, I'm expecting a leaf next time. That's amazing. I'm done. That's a, if I had a microphone, mic drop. Done. Out. poop away real life Easter's tangling me up right now we're on a walk and this is one of my favorite parts of the whole day there's just something about getting out in the fresh air and moving even if it's just simply a walk it just feels so good so even if it's just for five minutes there's something about like breathing fresh air and just walking that's so therapeutic and um, yeah it's just like I don't know I feel like it's just the way that God intended nature to be is just refreshing and restoring and it's just rejuvenating, so let's keep going on our walk. In this lonely place, 
I still see your face I go round and round Until every sound Is a symphony From my heart I am now doing an at-home workout popping on here on the voiceover and I did about I did an upper body upper body is my all-time favorite I love arms and biceps triceps back even um, it's my favorite I love training upper body so I did basic dumbbell curls I did squats weighted squats and then I did rows, and um, these are just some of the favorite moves that I do when I'm at home. I do about 12 reps, anywhere from, it just depends on like my weights, but anywhere from like eight to 12 reps, and I do about three to four sets, just depending on like how I feel. Um, and yeah, I like to do little isometric movements where you just hold, it really brings up your heart rate. Now, after my workout, I'm gonna go ahead and grab some ice and fill up my little blender bottle and I'm gonna use some branch chain amino acids. It's really, it's just great because this is gonna help you maintain muscle and just help with soreness uh, post-workout. So it's just a great workout recovery. This is my favorite branch chain amino acids. Um, I get it on iHerb. And now I'm gonna make some delicious smoothies. Smoothie? Well, technically smoothies, because I'm making some for Bo. But I made this in my last video, so I'll go ahead and link that down below. But it's just basically like this chocolatey banana smoothie, and I add collagen in it, which is my fave protein. And I just sip on my smoothie, and I talk to, I pretty much FaceTime my little sister every single day, even if it's just for a few minutes. I live really far away from my family, and so talking to somebody that I love every day is honestly, uh, it just makes me super happy and I think that this is really good even like for my mental health. And um, yeah, I'm just really thankful uh, that God gave me such a wonderful sister. So we talk every day. And then this is something that my mom actually taught me to do. Right before I got married, she always told me to prep my dinner early on in the day. So I always like to start on dinner early on in the day. So today I'm making this chicken immunity soup. You can see all the different spices that I used up on the screen right here. And I've actually shown this in a few of my other videos. So it's super easy. I literally just saute the veggies and put in the spices and I let it simmer for about an hour and I add a couple cups of broth and that's literally it. While it's simmering, I just jumped in the shower and did my little body scrub, which is the best. This Dermalogica body scrub is literally the best of all time. I wash my hair with whatever my little sister tells me to use and I wash my face. And then this is pretty much the whole rest of my day is after I take a shower, I let my hair air dry and I just get work done. So I edit videos. I am currently doing all of my book edits right now with my editing team from my publisher. And I'm also, um, I, by the way, I cannot sit down to work if the house is a mess. So anyway, I'm just showing you that house is nice and tidy and I'm ready to get to work. And then obviously editing videos for you guys, literally just getting a ton of computer work done, emails, all that kind of stuff. So this is pretty much the same every day, but it looks different depending on the videos or the edits. And I also write and I'm studying to get my nutrition coach certification. So I am pretty much on the computer for the whole rest of the day. In fact, I am on the computer for the rest of the day. And then um, my evening literally consists of just like reading a book and going to bed. So that's literally what I did for the whole rest of the day. And then I finished up my soup by adding in a bay leaf and I had some chicken cooking in the crock pot all day so I added that in. Um, if you don't eat meat, you can always add in like beans. Um, beans make me feel really bloated. I tried to eat a lot of them for a long time but they just make me feel really bloated. So anyway, you can add in whatever protein, whatever works for you. You can literally just eat it as veggies. Oh, and then tonight I actually responded to all of your comments on one of my latest videos and I made some green juice, which is my 
famous Gorilla Milk. Um, it's just made, the struggle is real, look at me trying to get this celery in. I just do celery and cucumbers and some spinach and then I add in my homemade almond milk and that's pretty much it. So look how mesmerizing this is. Let's just take a moment. great pick-me-up. Um, it just helps me to get through the rest of my evening. Sometimes if I'm just kind of feeling like eh, a little sluggish from sitting, this is like my go-to. It always gives me energy and obviously there's no caffeine in it. It's just the best. I love my grill milk and I genuinely drink this all of the time. This is literally the best green juice of all time and my voice always goes away. Before you go, I wanted to send you off. I was reading an article the other day and it was like an article on Instagram that like a doctor had written, my friend Bree Figgins linked it. And anyway, the article said, we're not aiming for healthy, we're aiming for perfect. I haven't had something like pierce my heart and soul like that in so long because that's exactly how I felt when I was starting my health and fitness journey. <clears throat> I feel like my voice sounds so weird. Oh well, I think because it, it really verbalized exactly how I felt for years on my health and fitness journey, especially when I was first starting out. And I just want to ask you, you know, are you aiming for perfect when you thought that you were maybe aiming for healthy? Because for years I thought I'm just trying to be healthy, but the reality was really I was aiming for perfect. I was aiming for, I have to eat perfect every single day. I have to live perfectly, this perfect healthy lifestyle every single day. I have to work out every single day. I have to like, and it was so um, defeating and it was not healthy as i've talked about in just my last video as well but honestly i want you to ask yourself that like am i aiming for perfect like did i think i was aiming for healthy but i'm actually aiming for perfection am i striving for something that doesn't even exist am i you know beating myself up for not reaching standards that are literally impossible to even reach like I really want us to ask ourselves that because also when when we recognize that maybe we are aiming for perfection, I feel like it's a little bit of a deeper issue because it was for me. So when I sat down to film this video, I realized I do these certain little things every single day. I say that to say that, you know, I know what it's like to be like, I'm just going to start tomorrow, like I'm just going to start living healthy tomorrow or I'm just going to you know, cheat today and I'm just gonna get back on track tomorrow. I'm gonna start on Monday, I'm gonna start January 1st, it's the end of the year, I, I, don't, I don't care, I'm just gonna like do whatever I want. If you're watching this video and you feel discouraged and you feel defeated and you feel like you can't change your life and you feel like you can't form new habits and you feel upset with yourself and frustrated with yourself, I want you to know that the loudest truck ever is driving by. That's what I want you to know. Okay, in all seriousness, I want you to know that the biggest thing for me that changed my life, that transformed my days, was every single day waking up, this is honest from my heart, and saying, God, what do you want me to do today? How can I honor and take care of my body today? How can I not become discouraged with myself, upset with myself? you know, direct my steps in my day and it changed my life. It transformed my days because there's this quote that I really love that basically says, every single day is like a little life and basically our entire lives are like the sum of our days. So it's what we do every single day that counts. It's the day in and day out. That's what makes up our life. And so if you're saying, I'm just gonna start tomorrow or I'm gonna put it off, or you beat yourself up really bad for not doing things perfectly, I really want to encourage you, and I say this word a lot, but <laughs> I'm finding that I say this word a lot. I want to empower you though, I really do. Like, I really want you to leave every single video that I make, like, encourage, like, you can change your life because you can. And there's a proverb that says, there is um, profit in every, oh, I can't remember the proverb. Proverbs 14, 23 says there's profit in all labor. So you will reap what you sow. And if you sow good habits in your life, 
even the little tiny day in and day out things. Like if you're working out and you're getting discouraged that you're not seeing results, don't focus on tomorrow. Like literally be content today. That is the secret, secret, not a secret, but that is the power that changed everything was today I'm going to be content because if we're not content today, we're not going to be content tomorrow. And that was when I was really set free. Like even when I was really struggling with binge eating, I literally remember like, okay, if I gain more weight, if I lose weight, I don't care. I don't care what my body looks like. I'm going to live healthy today. And guess what? I got in the best physical shape of my life because I stopped caring about what I looked like. And it's not that I don't care about what I look like. It's not that I don't, I don't care. Like, obviously we care. We want to be healthy. We want to take care of ourselves, but it's, it's not when we're consumed and obsessed and it's not the number one most important thing when it's put in the right place. Like, Hey, I'm going to work hard. I know there's profit in all labor and not, I need results now. And if I don't get them now, I'm going to be discouraged. I'm going to beat myself up. No, it's moving forward every single day doing, did I do what I needed to do today? Does that make sense? Did I reach for healthy today or did I reach for perfection? That one little mindset shift of we're not going to aim for perfection. We're going to aim for healthy will really change your days and really focusing on your days. And I just love that so much where Jesus said, take no thought for the morrow. Like that literally means don't even like think about tomorrow. Like literally don't worry about it. Don't give a thought to it. And I know that obviously like, you know, the idea behind that is not to worry about tomorrow. Okay. And if we want to take it very practically and very literally, we can literally not even think about tomorrow, but but more than that, it's, I'm not going to worry about tomorrow. I'm not going to worry about my body and what it looks like and the progress and or this or that. Did I do what I was supposed to do today? And when we shift our mindset away from the results and we do the action, we're going to see the results. There's profit in all labor. You know what I mean? If you feel like you've just been striving and, and running after this goal that seems impossible to reach. I just really want to encourage you to change your days. I really do believe that what we want the most is an inner rest in our soul. Like we want to have peace with ourselves. We want to have peace with our body. We want to have peace with God. And we want to not feel like every step we take, we are just going to go backwards in a day because you know, we didn't do it perfectly or we're really too hard on ourselves. So my encouragement for you is to make your days count, make your minutes count and ask God to help you prioritize your day and really set out in the morning, take time to intentionally be quiet, to get away from the distractions of everything, to not scroll on Instagram, to not jump into the rest of your day, but to really find rest for your soul. And that is what I do every single morning. And it, God has literally changed my life from it. In all the years that I have worked out, there is nothing that brings more strength into my days than that, than having quiet time in the morning. Just me and God, there is literally like an inner resilience and inner strength that gets built up because then even my opinions about myself that are false, that are negative, that are lies, they don't affect me. They don't have power over me. I really want us to live healthy from the inside out. Wrap all this up on my last video. I went through and I actually responded to every single comment and I prayed for you. I went through and whatever you wrote, whether it was a funny comment, you thought the video was funny or you were maybe really struggling with something, um, whether it was an eating disorder or whatever it was, I went through and I prayed for you and I really do love you guys so much. I love you watching this video and I really do want you to know that I genuinely care about you and I hope this video helped you. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up because it really helps my channel and it makes me so happy. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video. If you have any video suggestions, let me know in the comments because I want to read your suggestions for real. I just love you so, so, so much. Okay, I have to stop talking. I could just literally say that all day, but seriously, it's true. So, okay, I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I changed shirts because I was getting too hot. But look what we just got in the mail. This is such a surprise. I had no idea that we were going to get this. Woo! I was reading. Okay, my neighbors are going to think I'm so weird. It's okay. It's so uncomfortable. People walk by. It's literally just.
Oh, you scared me, sir. Yes. It's so funny when it's like, it's just so awkward. I just can't when people walk by. We love, we the, love the Siete fam. Like, these are mine and these, that's yours. No. Look at this. This is so funny. Okay. Okay, so yeah, so these ones are mine. You guys, our window literally is right on the sidewalk, and it's just like a really busy sidewalk. And so in our window, I can't. That's never gonna happen. <laughs> no. Why is this street the loudest street? Thank you. Thanks for driving me. 